More than 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, and the majority of this comes from our oceans and seas. In fact, the Pacific Ocean takes up more than a third of the planet's surface. There are more than a million different species of creatures that call the ocean their home. While scientists estimate there are 9 million more species that are yet to be discovered, the ocean can be a pretty dangerous place to live, and that's because some of the most deadly creatures live there. From the poisonous to the just outright vicious, here's a look at the most deadly creatures you may encounter in the ocean. But first, make sure to subscribe and push that notification button to be the first who will see new awesome videos. Number 1. Titan Triggerfish While the chances of a shark attacking you while diving are very rare, the odds are better regarding the feisty Titan Triggerfish. Also known as the Giant Triggerfish or Mustache Triggerfish, the Titan Triggerfish is an unusual-looking creature found in coral reefs everywhere from Australia to Thailand. The creature will bite through diver's fins and flesh, and often even when they haven't been provoked. Titan triggerfish are beautiful and bold, but divers know to keep their distance. Divers can tell that a titan triggerfish is angry when it raises its dorsal fin. The dorsal fin usually lays flat on the triggerfish's back and pops up like a trigger when it's agitated. This usually means that you're swimming too close to its territory and should swim around, not over it. Their territory is aggressively defended taking the shape of an inverted cone above the nesting site or their chosen feeding ground. Number 2. Stingray Stingrays are flat, disc-shaped creatures with fins that resemble wings. Species of stingray can either be saltwater or freshwater. They're most often associated with tropical ocean climates, and their sting is a commonly reported beachgoer injury. Stingrays are considered by most experts to be docile creatures, only attacking in self-defense. Most stingray-related injuries to humans occur to the ankles and lower legs when someone accidentally steps on a ray buried in the sand, and the frightened fish flips up its dangerous tail. Stingray-related fatalities in humans are extremely rare partly because a stingray's venom, while extraordinarily painful, isn't usually deadly, unless the initial strike is to the chest or abdominal area. Three, electric eel. The electric eel, not actually an eel, by the way, gets its name from the way it attacks and kills its predators and prey. Its body contains organs filled with nearly 6,000 electrolytes that store electricity, like small batteries. When something like, say, a human gets close, the not actually an eel will discharge volts of electricity and shock the intruder. If you were to encounter a shock from an electric eel, would it kill you? Although there are few documented instances of people dying from an electric eel shock, it could happen. A single jolt could incapacitate a person long enough to cause him or her to drown, even in shallow water. Multiple shocks could cause a person to stop breathing or go into heart failure. Number 4. Cone Snail This little guy is a cone snail. It has a host of deadly adaptations, including a venomous harpoon that it uses to catch prey. The cone snail species that packs the most venomous wallop is the geography cone snail, according to BBC Earth. The snail's toxins target the nervous system, paralyzing its victim and allowing the snail to get over to its meal at its own speed. The cone snail is constantly regrowing its redoule, meaning it's rarely without its deadly harpoon teeth. Historically, 65% of people stung by the cone snail die if they don't get to a hospital in time. There aren't any medicines that can neutralize the snail's conotoxin venom. The only treatment is to treat the symptoms and try to keep the victim alive until the venom wears off. Number 5. Blue Ringed Octopus At first glance, the blue ringed octopus seems completely harmless. It's vibrantly colored, 
smaller than a candy bar, and it doesn't look like it could hurt a fly. But in reality, according to the folks at Ocean Conservancy, this small sea creature has venom a thousand times more powerful than cyanide, and at any given time, it's caring enough to kill 26 humans in just minutes. The venom will paralyze you until you stop breathing. So if you see one of these, stay far, far away. Number 6. Sea Snake Snakes on land are scary, sure, but when it comes to the fear factor, sea snakes are on an entirely different playing field. Take the Dubois Sea Snake, for instance. This Australian serpent is the most venomous sea snake out there, and one of the top three most dangerous snakes in the world. Apicurus duboisi, also known as the Dubois Sea Snake or Reef Shallow Sea Snake, it's a species of venomous sea snake. Its geographic range includes Papua New Guinea, New Caledonia, and the northern, eastern, and western coastal areas of Australia. That is the Coral Sea, Arafuro Sea, Timor Sea, and Indian Ocean. They live at depths up to 80 meters, 262 feet, in coral reef flats, sandy and silty sediments which contain seaweed, invertebrates, and corals or sponges that can serve as shelter. Number 7. Box Jellyfish The box jellyfish's venom is so potent that it can kill fellow sea creatures before they even know what's happening. As for humans, a sting from a box jellyfish can cause everything from debilitating pain to heart failure and victims have been known to die before ever reaching land. And no, despite what you saw in Friends, peeing on someone when they've been stung by a box jellyfish won't help. Number 8. Stonefish The venom that is produced by stonefish is some of the most venomous in the world and is fatal to humans. For a complete recovery, a sufficient amount of anti-venom is required quickly to reverse the effects, which start with excruciating pain and swelling. These symptoms develop rapidly, causing paralysis, tissue necrosis, and even heart failure. Since they're so difficult to notice, stonefish are often stepped on, which activates the venomous sacs. Along their back, stonefish have 13 spines with glands at the base of each one that hold the venom. This venom is only used as a defense mechanism and is released when pressure is applied to their spines. Stonefish do not use their venom for hunting. Number 9. Portuguese Man of War Though the Portuguese Man of War is just 12 inches long, its tentacles can be up to 165 feet. And unfortunately, these long tentacles are covered in venom-filled nematocysts that paralyze prey. Though a man of war isn't quite venomous enough to paralyze a human, its sting is powerful and packs quite the punch. And don't be fooled by harmless Portuguese man of wars washed up on shore. Even dead ones can sting. Number 10. Saltwater Crocodile the saltwater crocodile lives primarily in Southeast Asia, from southern India through Australia's northern fringe. Despite their name, saltwater crocodiles are not exclusive to saltwater habitats. They are also found in brackish waters and freshwater streams and swamps. Fully grown adult males can reach more than 20 feet, about 6 meters in length, and weigh more than 1,100 pounds, roughly 500 kilograms. Considering only the records kept by Australia and Malaysia, the IUCN reports that between 2000 and 2007, saltwater crocodiles were responsible for nearly 30 separate attacks on people. In Australia, a quarter of those attacks were fatal. In Malaysia, half the attacks resulted in the victim's death. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that push notification button to be the first who will see new awesome videos.